Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover a scenario where you need to check or QA event tracking for Google Analytics 4, but you don't have access to Google Tag Manager and or you're working with your developers who are implementing the event tracking. So if you don't have access to any of this here where you can preview the event tracking tags and you only have access to GA4 and Data Studio, here's what you can do. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at GA4 and take a look at what we do have and don't have. So in GA4, we're in the reporting section, as you can see in the left navigation, and in the engagement drop-down, there's an events report. So if we click on events report, this is what you'll see. You can see this table with the event names, all the events that have occurred in this date range. But there's not really a readily available filter that you can use to filter this entire report, nor even for any of these singular charts or the data table. There's an option to add a filter at the top here, but this seems to be buggy because it doesn't show all of the pages that are available in the filter configuration. You can also go to pages and screens, but that only shows you the top pages and not necessarily the events. You can also create an explore report. It doesn't have the best user experience when it comes to reporting. You can see all the pages and all the events that occur on each specific page as well as the event counts here but for some pages with longer page paths or longer URLs you have to hover over those pages to see what the actual page is. So it's not a bad report but it's not the best. So let's head over to Data Studio and we can see how to create a table that we can use to check or QA for event tracking with Google Analytics 4. Now I'm in this behavior report and what we'll do is create a new chart, a data table that will show us the events that we're currently tracking. So we create this table and for the dimension we're going to change this to event name. The metric will change it to event count. And now we're going to add a control and we'll choose, let's choose advanced filter and create a filter by dragging this across and for the control field instead of event name we're going to use a page dimension so you can choose whichever page dimension you prefer I'll choose page path, expand this so it aligns with the table, click on style, and move the label position from top to left so that everything is in one line. Now the way this works, the way that you can use this control and the table together is if you select both and then right click and select group. 
So then this filter will only apply to this table. And just to see how that works, if we look for a page path and let's look for the home page, type enter, and we can see all the events that occur on this page. Or we can use another option, contains, starts with, regex, etc. Another type of control that you can use is a drop down. So this is a similar table that we have already configured, and I'm going to check to make sure there are no filters. Everything looks okay. Event count, event name. That looks good. And we'll add a control again and click drop down list. And for this one, we'll create that filter, that control. So we'll change the control field also to a page dimension. So with this you can actually search the page that you're looking for and select only the pages that you want or you can scroll down the list to see or to browse the pages for which you want to check the events. And make sure you select both of these elements, the control and the table, right click and select group. You can also group or ungroup these elements from the arrange menu and here you can toggle the group or the ungroup option. So now that we have these tables configured, we can look for the page that we want to check for which we want to check event tracking. So if we click on, for example, store, if we just want to take a look at store, we can see the events that occur and you can check if all the expected events are firing or if there are events unexpected that appear on this list, you can go to your developer or whoever manages your tags and let them know that these events aren't supposed to be there. So that's how you can use Google Data Studio to help check or QA event tracking for specific pages. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you in the next episode.